In this video, we're gonna be using Barrister Man, Fougere Angelique, and the fine, world's finest safety razor, or at least according to fine it is, stay tuned. Hey there folks, welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB, thanks for joining me again this morning, this fine Saturday morning. If it's your first time here, I hope you'll consider subscribing below. So, as mentioned before, today we're gonna be using the Barrister Man Fougere Angelique, which in my opinion is one of the best fougere scents ever created. Now this is a, for me, a treat yourself kind of soap because it is pricey. It is $27.99 for four ounces. That is $6.99 per ounce on our cost chart, which is painful. But this is one of those soaps that I love so much in terms of the scent. I didn't mind paying that for, didn't mind paying the price for it because it is truly beautiful. Let's open it up and smell. Oh man, smell it. <laughs> it is it is a citrus forward uh fougere. We'll show you the notes or how it's described there. There's there's lemon, lavender, neroli, oak moss, sandalwood. To me, one of the greatest fougere scents in terms of shaving products um, ever created. Uh it is definitely maybe my favorite, um, or at least in the top two, because I like Martin de Condre Fougere and this one. Just beautiful. Ingredients, I'll put them right there for you. This is Barrister Man, their reserve base. It is a good quality soap. It always has been. The question for me always with Barrister Man is, it, am I gonna like the scent or not? Because they make, they have made for me some of the best scents that I've ever smelled, and also some of the worst scents <laughs> that I've ever uh, smelled, and so you just never know. But this one was recommended to me a number of times by viewers like, Chris Garcia and others, and so I picked it up. I would not take a flyer typically on a uh, soap of this price. I have used it before. It's really, really beautiful. Uh, and we're just gonna start out the shave because the scent is so beautiful today and sanitize the platform with a little of the splash. Again, this is a Maggard exclusive, only available. Ah, very nice. I just love the scent. <laughs> only available at Maggard. Again, pricey, treat yourself kind of soap. For me, okay. So the razor today is the Fine. This is the world's finest safety razor, according to Fine. This was sent to me by Fine for evaluation. I've used it once before, we'll use it again today, and there might just be a giveaway for this announced in this video, so please stay tuned. This is 316 stainless. It is made in China. It is modeled after the, let me, I wrote it down there. Um, it's modeled after the Gillette New Long Comb Razor. I do believe, and uh, I got a good shave out of it the first time, but honestly, it's not a razor that I would buy with my own money, and I always have an obligation to call it like I see it uh, with these products. Roughly 24 hours growth, growth there today, and we'll go ahead and mist and get the pre-shave cube going, but anyway, um, it is a little mild for my taste, and for what it costs, which is I think around 165, it fine. The packaging that it comes in are just little plastic bags, which sort of identify the parts. It's not terrible, but for 165, um, the packaging is absolutely underwhelming, uh, I would call it. And honestly, the razor, um, we expect to get a good shave with it today. It's a little mild for me. It is, it is uh, well-made. It is going to last, but the price for me, Really what presents a problem for this razor is its price. At 165, you're also in the realm of, you can get a stainless steel carve razor, you can get the Razor Rock Lupo and Game Changer, uh, you can get the Rex Envoy, you can get the Rockwell 6S. There's some really tough competitors in that, you know, um, $155 to $165 range. And the Razor Rock razors are far less at usually under $100 for stainless. And so this is a well-built razor, but for 165, honestly, um, I think I would choose one of those other offerings because I just prefer them. Man, this soap smells great. But I do want to say, I thank Fine for allowing me to try this razor. These things come at a risk when a when an artisan or a uh, a manufacturer of razors or whatever it is sends something for evaluation. It always comes at a risk, and I said in my first video where I used this, it is a nice shaver. If you want a mild shave, it will probably be very nice for you. If you want a little more efficiency like me, 
it's really not up my alley, although I did get a good shave with it. Um, so I try to always remain fair, but sending these valuation products comes at a risk. So the people who always poo-poo the companies who do it, keep in mind, there is no assurance that I'm going to like something you send. Um, and I will never make an assurance that when I agree to use something that I'm just going to glow over it because I think this is a nice razor. I think it's well built, but I think it's honestly too costly. Um, it does shave well, however, it's just a little mild. There's not a lot of uh, blade feel, which I happen to like, but it is a decent shaver. I just think at the price, um, if it were say around the $100 mark, I think it would be far more attractive because it's, it is not perfect and it's fit and finished, although it is good. Like the knurling here, you probably can't see it, but it's not always clean cut. So you'll see these little imperfections in it. When that knurling is perfect, you won't see the little, uh, the imperfections that stand out in it um, when it's clean and perfect. This one is not 100% perfect. It is good, but it's not perfect. Uh, the knurling, I would say, is probably less than less than average. Um, in terms of its appearance, in terms of its grip, it is very good. It is very grippy, and there's no knurling down here. You don't need it. It does have the world's finest embossed on the bottom. It's a good-looking razor. By the way, the blade is the Gillette Nasset blade. It's a good-looking razor, but it's mild, and... Uh, that's the thing for me, I think that, you know, I want just a little more efficiency in blade feel, but um, I, I will not deny that it is a good shaver. But again, I have to be completely honest, it's not one that I would buy at its cost because quite frankly, I just think the Carve, the Rockwell 6S, the even, like I said, the much cheaper Razor Rock Game Changer and Lupo, uh, are just for me, and again, I want to caveat for me, better shavers for, in some cases, less money, or in all the cases, Rockwell success, less money than this one. And if you care, this one is made in China. So it arrives to you, the packaging is, is underwhelming. Um, it's made in China. And the price tag is, you know, it's getting up there in that, close to premium, well, let's just call it, you know, it's, it's that entry level of premium price. Um, and for me, it's, it, it would not be worthy of a buy. Um, it's just, you know, it's just not a razor that floats my boat. But like I said, um, it is, uh, it's a good looking razor. It does work well. And I will get a good shave out of it today. So from that perspective, in terms of just getting a good shave performance wise, it will work just fine. However, I can use most D razors and get a, a, a good shave at this point, you know. So I expect every single razor to provide for a, for a very decent shave, regardless of cost. Um, but again, I, I wanna underscore uh, these evaluation products that these artisans and companies send, there's no guarantee, you know, it can be a video like this where, of course, we're going to talk about the razor, but we're going to talk openly and honestly, and it's just not one that I would buy um, based on my preferences. You may get it and think it's the best thing you've ever tried. For me, it is not the finest. <laughs> you know, It's not anywhere close to the world's finest razor. Um, however, I'm confident I'll get a good shave with it, so I thank the folks at Fine, and they did allow me to do a giveaway with this, which I really appreciate. And so the way that you can uh, enter to win this razor is, um, first of all, you can comment below, make a comment below and just write, um, just hashtag fine, F-I-N-E. But also if you want to get some ad additional entries, I will post this video to my Facebook uh, page, my IMCDB Facebook page, not my personal, but my public IMCDB Facebook page. Hashtag, if you want an additional entry, when I post this video, and again, I'll post a link to my IMCDB Facebook page, like the page, hashtag fine, 
and uh, that will give you another entry. And so just giving you multiple ways to, to win there. So if you're on Facebook, nothing to lose. Go by, like the page, hashtag fine on this, on the uh, entry where I post this video and you will be entered to win. We'll do the drawing in about two weeks. I will not announce when the drawing is. I will just, I will put it in one of the videos. And so you have to watch because if you don't claim it within a few days, we'll just redraw down the road for another winner because I want this razor. And also there's an aftershave, the fine let go aftershave, which I will show you here in a minute. Let's go ahead and show it to you now. This is one of the brand new offerings from fine. The scent is not for me on this one. So that's why I'm not going to use it. Uh, this is the scent notes on this are leather, talc, and diesel. Very masculine. It is not a scent that I really like. I did open it and smell it, and I said, this this one is not for me. But if you like that sort of thing, it's based on uh, Knees 10, an old fragrance. This will also be thrown in that giveaway. Now, if you're international, overseas, I can't ship the aftershave to you because of the alcohol. I'll just put something else in there, maybe a soap or something. You know, I'll just throw, I'll substitute something. Um, but otherwise... You can win the fine razor here and uh, the aftershave. So that's pretty cool. And I, I want to thank the, the folks at Fine once again for uh, allowing me to check this razor out. And I want to thank them. And, and actually, I want to thank all the artisans who, who take that risk. I know some artisans, they sort of beat their chest and go, I don't give any evaluation products as if, you know, it's kind of offensive on a couple of levels. Number one, they say it as if they're doubting the integrity of people who use evaluation products and talk about them, as if you're automatically going to get a glaring endorsement. So they call it kind of, when they say, I don't do that, you know, and when they be beat their chest over it, as some do, it, it uh, kind of calls into question integrity of those of us who, who will use these products as if we can be bought. And that is certainly not the case, as you're finding out today. And you should have known for years, actually, if you've watched my channel. <laughs> um, but two, some of the same artisans, you know, pay for advertisement, you know, directly, like buying ads. And that's 100% endorsement. There's no risk in, there's no risk in buying an, an actual advertisement. Some do. Many don't. Many just rely on the community and word of mouth. And so for the companies who do take the risk... Uh, thank you. Um, I, I certainly appreciate it. It helps us out and we help them out. Um, however, I always have to caveat and everybody will know who's ever um, sent me something for evaluation. I always always tell them I have to be able to speak with 100% candor, like it or not. And in this case, it's one that I, uh, the, the razor... Uh, is not one that I would purchase. I don't dislike it, but I think the cost, you know, I don't think the value is there for me personally um, because it's 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 quite mild and I think I can get better options for 165 to be honest with you. And so I would really have to bring this, the cost on this down considerably for it to be a good value for me. Now that said... Um, if you're looking for a mild shaver and you're somebody who absolutely prefers mild shavers, it may be one for you to consider. On the other hand, you can get a razor like Carve and get the A or B plate or something like that. And you're going to get a mild shaver still for less, even the stainless version. At, I think it's about 155 So it would still come in less expensively than this one. And so the cost presents a problem for me on this razor. And I wanted to use it another time and just... See if it confirmed my feelings. You know, the first shave, I used it. Um, and I said, you know, I wouldn't buy it with my own money. And and I, you know, even after this second shave, and I could use it for months on end and I would feel the same way. This is just one that, you know, especially since I'm using more open blades, straight razors, shavettes, I do have a tendency to prefer a little more efficiency. On the same hand, I will say, it does shave well, <laughs> so, you know, it's sort of a mixed bag, but I think the cost on this, given the packaging, given where it's made, uh, I just don't think it, um, 
provides enough value. Uh, that's my feeling on it. But again, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank the, thank the people at Fine. Uh, I didn't care for the aftershave either, so I'm not even going to use it. I mean, it, that is the risk. Uh, I don't like that scent. It's not for me. Leather, talc, and diesel is no, no, and no. <laughs> you know, like, but it's a personal preference thing, and you may absolutely love that. It may be one of the greatest scents you've ever tried, and so you just never know what people will like or uh, won't. Now, what I do like is this this barrister and man. <laughs> this is outstanding. I, I'm going to say it again, one of the best Fougere scents of all time. If you like citrus, because it's citrus for it, it pops. It's beautiful. It's pricey. But in my view, um, it was worth treating myself to it because I just absolutely love it. Uh, okay, let me rinse. We'll come back into the post. Stay tuned. All right, we are back with the magic made by witches. This is Thayer's Cucumber, which I really like. And what I do is just refill the bottle when it gets a little low. This is great stuff in one of the things you don't hear me doing a lot is when I talk about these soaps, which is superb. One of the greatest of all time, Fougeres. Um, you won't hear me talking a lot about post-shave. And the reason why is I use post-shave products. Alum, just use that, the PAA alum with dry dock. Then I'm following up with witch hazel, and then I will follow up with the splash. And so by the time you use all these things, um, it's really going to cut into whatever that post-shave was supposed to be from the soap. So I don't put a lot of emphasis on post-shave. And if you're using a lot of post-shave products, you're probably not going to get that much out of the post-shave from a soap, in my opinion, especially especially if you're like tripling up on astringents. It's going to strip a lot of that away. Okay. You know how I feel about this. Pricey, but excellent. One of the greatest Fougere scents of all time. Um, I love it. It's just one, I have no regrets <laughs> on buying that. The World's Finest Razor by Fine. Um, actually, I got a really good shave with it. So it is capable of delivering a very good shave. However, to me, it is not the World's Finest Razor, nor close to it at its price. I just don't think it brings enough value for me. It may for you. Um, nice looking razor. Will last you a lifetime. Uh, maybe several lifetimes, um, but... It's not one that I would purchase, but we do thank fine. And remember, we're giving away both the razor and <laughs> the Latigo um, aftershave. So thank you fine for allowing us to try it. Last but not least was our um, PAA Switchback 400 with the uh, AP Shave Co. Sinbad Knot. And the cool thing about these uh, Switchback 400s is that you can buy these ferrules and you can switch out. So you can put whatever you knot you want to, glue it in here, and then you can switch out these knots whenever you see fit. So you can buy these ferrules at PAA and, and they exist, vintage ones exist that fit this. So it's a cool brush uh, that I enjoy using. All right, so I wanna thank everybody for joining us. Remember, the giveaway is now ongoing. Go back and watch the video for details on how to enter the giveaway. I wanna thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'm your host CDB reminding you, it's your shape, do it your way. And as always, God bless.